Hey, what's up? My name is Rob, and I am the author of Machine, the Hip Hop Beatmaker's Missing Manual, which is the number one resource for machine producers that are looking to understand how to make album quality beats on machine. I have got something important to share with you today. So, a few years ago, I decided that I was going to start to make beats that were not sample based. I was going to try to create original melodies and original beats. And after I decided to make that change, moving away from samples, I realized it, that it was incredibly difficult. It literally took me years, years, to get to the point where I was able to come up with the melody on machine. For almost two years, you know, I'd probably sit at machine for 30 minutes and try out 10 different variations of a melody and erase all of them because they all sounded like crap. But that was up until I discovered this method that I am going to share with you today. So recently I've been using two really little known features on Machine to be able to really quickly come up with really cool melodies on Machine. They sound awesome. This process makes it stupid simple. You don't have to have musical training and musical and music theory and you know you don't have to be a keyboardist or a pianist to come up with really great melodies on Machine. It makes it super easy to come up with complex and musical sounding melodies on Machine. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna jump on over to Machine. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. By the end of this, you're gonna understand exactly my process to create really great original melodies using a machine without any sort of musical training and no samples. So um, let's get this started, man. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, I want to make it clear why this is important, all right? Melodies are a driving force inside of your music because once you are able to make hard drums and then combine those drums with a really solid me melody, you already won. Like, it's game over. But up until I discovered this technique that I'm about to share with you, melodies were probably the weakest point in my music. Because like I said, I'm not a trained musician. I am not a keyboardist. I am not, you know, a master on the synthesizers. So once I discovered this, it really opened my mind. It opened and really advanced my skill set and took things to the next level because it makes it so easy. All right, so let's start with step one before we get started to make sure that uh, I lay this all down for you. Step one is start by building a really great drum grooves, a really great drum groove, excuse me. And this is this is the sort of basis of all my beats. If you followed me for any amount of time, you already know I'm a drums first type of dude. I put together the groove first, make sure the energy is correct to carry the entire energy of the track. The groove needs to be tight. I want the kicks to be hitting properly. I want to make sure the snare snaps. I want to make sure the kick is in tune with every other sound in the drum kit. And then I'm going to route my sounds all in the drum kit. So I'm going to show you sort of what I'm working with right now in terms of my drums. And then we're going to move to the melodic part, all right? Just to let you listen to how I would start a beat. This is more of like a house style track, okay? So I know some of you are mostly uh, hip hop heads, but I'm also into house music as well. And it makes it... um makes it really simple to start. So this is the house track that I'm, I've started so far. So nothing too complicated or out of the ordinary. It's a regular groove. You know, the drums are hitting pretty well so far. I didn't have time to really mix everything the way I'd like it to, but just know that that's the starting point. All right, the second step is to all right, jump into sound mode in Machine, okay? So you want to pick out a sound out of your Machine library. You can go to this little grid thing and then to instruments. I typically like to, when I'm utilizing this, I want to jump into the keys, all right, just because I like these sounds. Balladeer is a great starting point, all right? Nice, warm sound, very realistic sound. I've already loaded this up, loaded up this sound, this pearly sound. So that works for me as well. Um, so start with a great sound, all right? You want to make sure that the sound and the timber of the sound and the energy of the sound that you're loading up matches the or, or vibes with the groove of the drums and the energy of your track. So I like to start with electric piano sounds and um, go on from there, all right? Synthesizers, sounds, and machine also work. Like I said, make sure the tone of those sounds matches the energy of whatever your drum groove that you just laid down is, all right? So jump to keyboard and ro roll mode next. 
it's what we're going to do. And I don't have a screenshot of the hardware up right now, but it's pretty simple. And I know a lot of you are probably more intermediate machine producers, so you know how to do this. You're going to select the sound and then press shift pad mode to get into keyboard mode. That's going to allow you that 16 levels. Okay. And then the next aspect of this is to jump into um, chord mode. Okay, so hold down the pad mode button that you just pressed. You press shift and then pad mode. So hold down the pad mode button again. And then on the third knob from the left, you're going to see chord mode. All right, you're going to switch to harm harmonizer, then to chord set. So chord set is the, the element that you want to be inside. And I typically like the minor chord. So on the type, I'm going to scroll all the way back to the end. I'm on minor chord seven. So let me let me reiterate that again. You're going to select the sound that you want, press shift and pad mode to automatically lock the machine into keyboard mode. Once you're in keyboard mode and on the 16 levels, you're going to press and hold pad mode and then select the chord set. Okay. You're going to jump on over to chord set mode and then select the type to, uh, I like to start with minor minor keys okay so this is what we're working so we take that balladeer sound that we just worked with and we're able to now um basically create chords like you're playing a piano and that's that's just the first step along this process. So once you find a chord and a key that you want to work with, something that sounds good with the energy and fits the vibe, because your chords are the key of your chord, whether it's a minor or a major chord, really plays into effect of the overall energy of the track. Major chords sound more bright, more you know vibrant. You know they feel good, whereas the minor chords sort of build tension. Minor chords sort of build. Um, you know, like a tension or more aggressive sound. So I like to work with minor chords. Once I find a good minor chord to work with, then I'm going to do the next step. All right. And I'll jump in. And I'll show you how to find a good minor chord. So as I said before, I'm going to play this drum loop and I'm going to select and hold pad mode. Once I know I'm in keyboard mode and I'm going to jump in and find a minor chord that vibes with the energy of the track. All right. So I'm going to play that and let you listen to how it sounds. So I flipped through all the minor chords and I landed back on to uh, the minor chord. I think it is eight. So I'm staying there. So now is for the next level part. All right. So you're in, you've decided the key of the song that you want to work with. Now we're going to jump into the arpeggiator in machine. This is more of an advanced option. And we're going to find a sequence of notes inside of the arpeggiator that sort of matches the vibe that we want to get. All right. So what an arpeggiator is, is it sort of plays the, it's going to play the individual notes within this key that we just selected in chord mode inside it, a certain pattern in a certain order. And it's going to basically automatically play some sort of like piano riff for us. And, um, we're going to be able to select that as our melody. All right. So we're in keyboard roll mode. We've selected the chord. Now we're going to jump into the arpeggiator. And the way that we do that is by once we're in, once we've got our chord selected, we're going to press and hold the note repeat button. Okay. Press and hold the note, note repeat button. And then you're going to come up into the arpeggiator mode. You're going to see on your machine screen, um, it's going to say main type down or rhythm, the rate, the unit, the sequence, the octaves, the dynamic, the gate. So those are all parameters in which you can control the automatic arpeggiator and sort of further refine the type of riff that it's going to play for you. Okay. So I'm going to sort of scroll through these and I'm going to sort of let you know what everything individually sounds like. Right. So let's jump in through. So just to reiterate, I'm pressing and holding the note repeat button 
and um, and I'm going to basically once I've figured out you know the settings that I want you're going to press and hold one of those chords on your pads and the arpeggiator is automatically going to play a sequence for you you know just like that so we're going to jump in and sort of play around with the parameters and see which elements of the arpeggiator sound right over the drums that we've got So we're going to record that in right now. So we're on, the type is down right now. The rate is 1 16th. The unit is normal. The sequence is set to 6. The sequence is just like a random selection of the notes within that chord that it's going to play. You're going to decide on how many different octaves you want the sequence to span, the dynamic and the gate. So it's important to understand those few parameters. All right, You want the, the type... Um, you can select between down and up and up down. I, I have down selected right now. So basically I'm just going to record this pattern in and machine. I want a one bar pattern and I'm going to record this. I'm not playing that on the keys. This is an arpeggiator pattern. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to count this in and play that and record it. All right. So that didn't sound right because the, uh, the velocity was not set right. So as you just heard, that sort of repeated instance in the beginning, if you're counting in, you can press and hold the the button of the chord mode in the arpeggiator that you want, and it'll automatically play it for you, all right, just to make sure that it's on time. So we've got this pattern recorded in. And it's a really, really simple, simple and straightforward little melody that we've got going. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take it to the next step, and this is step Number three, all right, we're going to take this arpeggiated sound. We're going to take this arpeggiated sound. We're going to duplicate this sound and we are going to, let's see, copy, oops, wrong thing. We're going to copy this and then paste it into another group. And that's going to take the exact same pattern that we just created and put it inside of another group. All right, so this is going to be our chord group. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to delete this arpeggiated pattern that we just copied over. And now we're still stuck with, right now we have the same key that we were working with in the arpeggiator. And this is basically going to allow us to play chords over our arpeggiated little sequence that we just created, all right? So we just copied the arpeggiated sequence into a new group, deleted the arpeggiated patterns. Now we know we're automatically going to be in the same key as the arpeggiated notes. So everything is going to be in key automatically, and we've got the groove working. So we're going to just going to, right now, just try to figure out some keys and some chords to play over top of our arpeggiated pattern that sound correct. It makes it real simple. So let's do that. So as you hear, as you can see here in this keyboard lane, it's playing complicated chords for us in key along with our arpeggiated pattern and it makes it real simple, all right? So this is a four bar loop, so I'm gonna go ahead and record in these four bars and uh, get this cracking, so let's go do it. So we're already a little bit long on time. I want to make sure to keep this somewhat short. But basically what I'm doing right now is taking these keys, um, these chords that we just played, make sure the velocity is all you know correct 
I'm going to keep everything around, in this case, around probably about 60 or so. And um, now, basically, what I can do is go in and mix this. We've got sort of a melody chorus playing behind it. We can go in and further build up, maybe add a bass line somewhere or another synth lead to go on top of this. And it makes it super stupid simple to create a melody, you know, if and not understand music theory. You know, it's sort of a... A really simple way to get a more complex melody going on in your music without having to rely upon samples and someone else to pl playing for you. It makes it really, really dumb simple, and it's it's an awesome opportunity for us as producers to utilize this machine technology and create something really cool without having to, you know, get too deep into the elements of machine that, um, you know, or or elements of of keyboard mode or keep playing keys and and coming up with original melodies in that sense okay not to say that there's anything wrong with that but if you have limited skill in terms of that and you want to make better sounding original beats this is the way to do it okay so you've made it this far so obviously you are super serious about the nuances and the techniques and the strategy behind making better music on your machine. You want to take your music to the next level. So if you're the type of person that's looking to master machines creative workflow, to understand concepts like this and using the arpeggiator, using chord mode, understanding how to manipulate your machine to get the most and best sound out of it, I want to take your skills to the next level so that you can understand how to be creative on machine without even having to think about what to do. Okay, if you're the type of person that wants to thoroughly understand how to use elements of machine just like this one, I recommend that you grab a copy of my book. It's called Machine the Hip Hop Beatmaker's Missing Manual. All right, this is the most thorough book out there. As you can see, 89 pages covers in detail all of the more advanced concepts on machine that will teach you things about concepts that otherwise are not covered. You're not going to find this level of detail on YouTube. This is the complete picture. As you can see here, there's an entire section of almost 30 pages just on utilizing machines effects and learning how to mix properly to to get the best sound out of your machine. We have sections here covering how to build better drums, how to use machines drum synths. We have a section entirely devoted to sampling on machine, how to find great samples if you are more of a hip hop head. And um, we have an entire section as well about utilizing the machine software and hardware to make better sounding books. I mean, make better sounding beats, excuse me. My mind is, uh, is, run to, is running right now. But basically what I'm going to do right now is offer you a really unique and rare opportunity for you to get this guide for the low low, okay? If you're the type of person that wants to make release ready beats on machine, this is exactly what you need to hear. So I want you to listen up. This guide is normally pretty expensive. Okay, I sell this book for 49 bucks, but I figured out sort of over the last few years that it's in my best interest to get this book into the hands of as many machine producers as possible so that I can grow my brand, so I can get my name out there and get more people interested in what I have to offer. Okay, so I'm going to hook you up with a deal today, testing out this pricing strategy today where you can get this book for just a buck, a dollar. Seriously, no catch, no hidden tricks, literally one dollar one single dollar okay and all you have to do is click the link in the description so, you're going to land upon a page that looks like this you're going to check out here click to, here to get your book and you fill in your name and your email address your phone number and that's just so i can follow up with you and make sure you've got your book i'm not going to sell your number to anybody or anything like that enter your credit card information and like i said it's just a buck this is super serious. I know you're going to love this book. I know you're going to find the information inside of here more valuable than anything available for free in this world. And all you have to do is pay a dollar for it. There are programs out here that cost several hundred bucks about machine and they don't have as much value as you're going to get out of this book for a dollar. Okay. So take advantage of this opportunity. I know you're going to love the information inside of here. Grab a copy of this book. It's going to be the smartest thing that you've done for your music, for your music career and the smartest thing you've done to maximize your investment in machine i mean you paid a thousand bucks for this thing maybe 500 if you got an mk2 so make sure you're utilizing this this technology property and you properly and you fully understand the capabilities of this thing and how to make the best out of it all right so again if you don't already know my name is rob and i am the author of this book machine the hip-hop beat makers missing manual and uh, i am the author of hiphoprally.com this is a resource for you to have a breath of free information about machine 
my the stuff that I give away for free is better than the stuff that the competitors charge for. Okay, so they're charging thousand a thousand dollars for for a course that isn't even as good as the stuff I give away for free. So go ahead and check out this book. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more valuable free information on machine. And uh, I will see you in future videos. Talk to you later, man. Peace.